Today, guys, I will be sharing with you probably the fastest way that you can pull up a project using Portfolio Board. Let's dive right in. So this is the floor plan that we are working with and although we are keeping the structure, we're going to be changing the materials, the flooring, we'll be bringing new furniture, new accessories and, and we are really just giving this space a new makeover to bring it back to life. The very first thing that I will do is create a concept which is done by creating a mood board or a concept board that will reflect the mood of this space along with our furniture choices and really just trying to show the vibe that we are going for. first thing that I want to do is I want to create a new project, a blank new project and I do want to introduce you to the first new feature which is the multi-page. So if you click on the plus button, you can actually add more than one page for your board. So you'll have kind of like a presentation so you can you know add different types of content onto your board. But for now I'm just going to go to my Pinterest account which is linked here on my uh, portfolio board. Uh, app and I'm going to bring in the images that I was searching for earlier which are going to be used for my new mood board. I'm also going to search my samples, my material samples. I do have the physical samples but I do want to also add them to my digital board. So I'm just searching for the walnut uh, material that I want to incorporate in the living room. So I'm just going to crop it. And I'm going to just bring that in. I'm going to resize it and I'm going to bring it up to the corner. So that looks pretty good. And I will do the same for a green marble sample that I am thinking to use for uh, the fireplace for like a feature wall. So I think that would look really, really cool. I have not decided um, which type of marble exactly. And I have not got the physical sample just yet. So I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to bring it over to the corner and I think that looks just okay. So I don't know if you knew, but uh, here in Morfolio Board you have a library with millions, well not millions, but probably thousands of uh, accessories, chairs, tables, rugs, you name it. And they are all very popular items. They are from designer brands. So if you're going to choose any of these chairs or tables, you can just bring them in and you can use the magic tool uh, to just remove the background in literally one second. Now you can also um, add a shadow. So we will add a ground shadow and you can change the opacity, the perspective, how blurry and how offset you want it from the chair. Of course that you want this to look as realistic as possible. So we're just going to play with these settings just a bit until we are satisfied with the result. So the cool thing about this is that when you move the chair the shadow is going to move along with it. When you move and rotate the chair, the shadow will move along with it, which is really, really cool. You will also uh, want to do that for the material samples. Um, you can do a drop shadow and also like change the direction, the blur, the offset. Um, I like to use the drop one from my material samples just to give them a little bit of depth, which makes this board a bit more interesting and dynamic. I don't know, you want to make it a nice presentation. And I'm just trying to make this look good. So now I'm actually going to look for the sofa that uh, I am proposing for this small project. So it is from Crate and Burial. And it is a uh, sofa for the living room, which is white. And it's going to be right here. So yeah, it's this one. So I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm just going to crop it. And then I will just kind of like bring that in and oops I don't know what's happening okay there you go so you bring that in and you can just resize it and you can use the magic tool to remove the background in 0.5 seconds and there you go so it is looking pretty good now I'm just gonna add a little bit of text so with the new update of Morfolio board you have more um, options for the text there are more features that you can actually, you know, change for your text, which is really, really cool. You can change the font, the size, the color, if you want it to be uh, bold or italic, or if you want it to have an underline, anything that you want, uh, as well as the orientation, the spacing, everything you can change here 
on all of these settings. We could also change the tracking, which is basically the spacing between the letters. And then you can just bring that onto your board to make it look very, very pretty. Okay, so I'm just adding my concept statement for this project. So we need a little bit more text. Here in Morfolio, you have uh, an option to create cut sheets or lists. And really, you don't have to create anything because it's already been created for you. So if you see uh, here on the lists, you can actually um, kind of like you can actually add uh, different properties for your lists. Um, and you can also export that, which is really nice if you're like specifying any of this furniture. So it's really handy for that. So I'm going to go back to the multi page and here, uh, if you wanted to export anything, it's very easy. You just click on the export and you can share it as an image, PDF, as a project file, and you can also change the quality. Now, if you wanted to add like a second page or a third page, which you would need probably for a presentation where you probably will show your clients the furniture plan or maybe the floor plan or the, you know, anything that you want to show for your presentation. You can change also the background for that second page. Um, but for now, I would just leave it white. Of course, if you are adding any plan, uh, you want to name it. If it is a floor plan, an electrical plan, a furniture plan, whatever that is, yeah, you want to add the name of that specific plan. And you can also change the uh, orientation of the lettering. Okay, so last I want to talk to you about layers. So here you have your layers on the corner and you can toggle them on and off if you want to like hide any elements and you have like different options for furniture for samples you can always turn off and turn on those layers uh, depending on what you want to show for that specific mood board so that is pretty much uh, what i wanted to show you uh, like i said this is a very fast way probably the fastest way to pull off a design presentation with furniture, with materials, with your uh, text, with your inspiration images. And, and really this was just a very small mood board, but I just wanted to show you uh, how you can use these features uh, to create all of your mood boards, your design boards, your furniture boards, and so on and so forth. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next time.